Hi there, just going to take a walk around this rather nice looking Peugeot E208. Uh, it's got a 50 kilowatt hour battery, giving this car around about sort of 170 miles worth of driving range, depending on the time of year and your preferred driving style. Bearing in mind, this is a lovely sporty little car to drive. Um, other stats on this particular car, it's, well, it's a GT Premium, so that makes it the top spec. Um, it's, uh, well, it's only done more under, well, just under 14,500 miles. So nice low miles, also 21 plate as well, so nice and new. Um, MOT not due for ages yet, obviously, and um, service isn't due until the uh, well, the very end of May next year. Yeah, so nothing to worry about for absolutely ages on this car. Uh, very nice condition as well, uh, and I think it looks glorious in the red. I'm a fan of red cars anyway, in general, but this is a particularly nice, sort of bright yet rich red. Very nice car. But anyway, I'm going to go around the car now and I'll point out any, any noteworthy marks it has. Not going to be a great deal to point out, I don't think. Uh, red's a very forgiving car though, and actually there isn't much that I have noticed going around it. Uh, very popular car, the E208. Uh, certainly now the prices have gone down. It's got a decent range, very, very fun to drive in. It's a really nice looking car, nice and compact in size as well. Oh, it's all looking very nice and tidy so far. Okay, well, bodywork looking absolutely excellent. As a little bit of marking down the very outer edge of this front alloy. It's the passenger side front. Always the passenger side front. But to be fair, it's very light damage and it's only just around the very outer edge. So you wouldn't really notice and I wouldn't say that's necessarily a thing of any concern. I mean, there may well be you know, a stone chip or two on the, on the bonnet and the bumper. I mean, I feel even pointing out there's the tiniest of little microscopic stone chips there. There's probably a couple of others that are similar. Is that a stone chip? There's another little one there as well. Nothing much to speak of. So yeah, you're going to have to say this is a, is a very nice, tidy, good condition car. Like I say, GT Premium. So you get the GT interior, which gives you a lovely nice sports seat, sort of half faux leather and half sort of suede or faux suede. Look really nice and smart. They're heated as well at this trim level, which is great. You get the bigger infotainment screen, and that includes the sat nav as well, which um, is part of this upgrade. 3D digital dash display, uh, full sort of self driving mode, electronic handbrake. Um, very nicely spec'd car. And as you can see, it's very nice condition inside. The rear seats look like they've even been sat in. So there you go, yeah. So it's a nice, nice tidy car inside and out. A decent enough size boot. Like I say, it's a compact car, um, but the, the boot's perfectly practical and usable. In that boot, we'll be putting a three pin charging lead like we do with all our cars. So this car will come supplied with a lead that you can plug into any normal main socket so you can charge the car from that. So you don't necessarily even need to get a charge point installed. And there you have it. If you're looking for uh, an E208 top spec, low miles, good condition, this is an ideal car, and particularly if you like it in the colour red. It won't get much better than this. But anyway, this car's here on the forecourt ready for a test driver reviewing. Uh, alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out our E208 content on our website and on our YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll find those videos useful and hopefully we'll speak to you soon.